Hello YouTube people, let's talk about this black tout Pagani 1644, yeah that, that, that one, don't worry I'll show you this watch up close later on. So I'll do this video a little bit in reverse, first of all I'll tell you my opinion about this watch etc etc and later on I'm gonna do this little fashion show, <laughs> not so little fashion show actually, we're gonna place this watch on a lot of different straps. And we'll see how it's gonna look like. I'm really interested actually. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> but first of all, this watch, where it's gonna go on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I place watches into different year lists. There is already one PD1644, uh, yeah. And it is in a keepers. That one is stainless steel version with the same black dial. This one, however, it doesn't go into keepers. This goes into not bad because it is not as good as the stainless steel one. And the reason being is that this white date window, it's, it doesn't look that terrible on stainless steel version, but with this fully blacked out watch, I mean, it looks completely out of place. It really kills the watch for me. Yeah, I, I just hate it. But you know, even though it's, uh, tool watch sometimes I say well it's a tool watch whatever it at least it has a date window don't worry about it no not this one I don't give it a pass it's a stealthy looking watch and why date window has nothing to do on this watch another thing which is even bigger problem for me is you know this wide date window when you look at the distance like this to the watch let me zoom in it's not a big deal it has many things going on, you don't even notice that white date window. Yeah, whatever, let it pass from the distance. But there is another thing which I see very clearly from the distance, which makes this watch look very cheap. It is the white markings on the bezel. They, have, they look very bold, very white, and they overpower the whole look of the watch. All I see from the distance is this bezel with white markings. I mean, stealth out watch with this bezel i mean look all i see is these white markings on the bezel it completely kills the watch for me from the distance like this it looks like some kind of a 10 euro watch from the supermarket it looks cheap only when when you get up close and really see this watch in detail see the fine finishing shininess etc etc only then you understand oh this is probably a lot more expensive watch but from the distance it looks completely out of out of place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's personal preference. That's just my opinion, but that's the reason why it's not going into keepers. And another thing, as all Paganis, it has very sharp clasp. It's like ridiculously sharp. I mean, look, I will demonstrate. Take this clasp, put the edge on this thing and like... <laughs> Man, it's a weapon. This is a weapon. <laughs> Be careful with Pagani watches. They are dangerous. <laughs> you can hurt yourself. And another thing, this bracelet feels somewhat cheap, even though solid, solid links, solid end links, etc., etc. But it squeaks, it rattles. I haven't had such problem with the stainless steel version. So I believe. This is that black PVD coating to blame for these squeaks and rattles. And you know, speaking about that black coating, I can actually feel that the watch feels different from the stainless steel version. If I would do a you know, blind test and I would have to guess this is stainless steel or, or coated with black coating, I could actually tell the difference. It feels different. It feels cheaper for some reason. And Yeah, I, I don't know, I just doesn't feel right. Not a big deal though. I will show you how it looks on many different straps and it does look very nice. But yeah, but once I put it on the wrist and like, like this, I wear it throughout the day, it's fine. It's completely fine unless I shake the watch. <laughs> what the hell is it? It needs some kind of lubrication. Okay, anyway, anyway, I will stop my rant 
overall this is actually a good watch this is good watch especially for the money don't forget this watch is less than 100 euros and you get sapphire crystal 100 meters water resistance with screw down crowns and very good Seiko quartz movement which is very well as I know it's very reliable very accurate I mean what else do you want it's a very good watch and for the money it looks all right it looks all right very interesting especially on those straps that I, that I'm about to show you okay I'm speaking 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 <laughs> I'm speaking far for too long anyway let's start this little fashion show let's put this watch you know what let's start with uh, the original strap again design puts one extra strap in the box so let's start this little show with this original strap okay so the original strap that Pagani gives you how does it look like by the way I really like these Pagani clothes they are so soft they are so good oh my god lovely love them so this strap and many other straps don't really look well with this dresser style shirt but sorry I'm not gonna change my shirt every time I change the strap so anyway I really like how it looks like and with this striped strap this bezel doesn't pop out so much with those bold white markings anymore so it looks better than with the original black bracelet well this is also original strap because you get it in a box so you can't really complain too much but oh yeah that's nice that is nice hold on a second I will zoom in a little bit let's move the chair out of the way how does it look on a person oh that's nice I mean I mean it does it fit my dress style shirt I mean like this does it look all right what do you think it kind of fits the style yeah it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad okay okay I like it I like it okay let's take it off the wrist let's see how it looks like oh that's nice that's nice you know say what you want pick on any bad things you want but still at the end of the day for under 100 euros I mean look at this thing isn't that incredible looks wonderful okay another strap well this one is a little bit crazy <laughs> would be nice for Christmas party and things like that but I like how black watches look with this red stripes strap I mean it it looks very fun that's how it looks like it looks like a, a lot of fun and with some kind of red sneakers or something you know red accents oh my god it could work out so nicely it does look really interesting yeah let me show you wider angle it does look very interesting I mean red is classic color it does look very good with many things even with this dress style shirt I don't know for some special occasions I think it would look all right yeah <laughs> I kind of like it yeah white and not white silver or hardware may not look very good with this black watch but sorry I don't have that many straps <laughs> so I will let's work with what I have okay <laughs> okay let's flip the screen and see how it looks on the wrist from this perspective I like it I do actually like it let's take it off let's see oh nice nice man this watch is a strap monster <laughs> it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun okay let's put it on something else this time black nylon strap but I don't know is it really nylon because this one is tangible so yeah black nylon strap with silver hardware well not silver it's stainless steel I should say probably anyway black on black does look all right even this stainless steel hardware I would say it looks all right with those uh, rings of chronograph well actually there is only one ring of chronograph or other rings just show seconds or 24 hours interesting interesting 
And let me show you up close from different perspective. This strap is very interesting. It is tangible. This one is elastic. Like, look, it does feel very nice. But the problem with this strap is that edges wear out very much of this strap. So I heat it up a little bit and now they don't wear out anymore, but it does, doesn't look that nice anymore. Anyway, that's the problem of those elastic cheap bands. Okay, let's move on to another. Well, how about this single piece leather strap? Yeah, this color work, works very well with black watch, I would say. Oh yes, it looks nice. But this time, somehow, stainless steel hardware, no, not blacked out, doesn't really work with black watch. This time, no, it doesn't, doesn't look right. But if you would get something like this with blacked out hardware, oh yes. Oh yes, that would look interesting. Also, I'll tell you interesting thing about this strap. I have it in black. I have it in dark brown and this one. And the thing about these straps, let me flip the camera screen, uh, they cost around 1 euro 60 with all taxes and even I believe shipping included. They're very slim, hardware is not the best, but they are one of the best feeling straps I ever had. It is so soft, it is so soft. I just love these straps. Oh my God! It feels, it feels the same way as Pagani cloth. I mean, on the, on the hand, it's the same thing. It's, it's that that soft, cheap, but oh my God, they feel wonderful. And even though they are very slim, sometimes uh, in some watches there are, there is not enough space to put a thicker one. So these are just the only option with some watches. Yeah, if hardware wouldn't be silver like that. Yeah, that looks all right. This color works very well with black. Okay, next one. Now this black single piece nylon strap with blacked out hardware. Let's see. It looks all right, except it looks a little bit bulky. There is a lot of material going on, you know, it's, but kind of looks all right. Yeah, interesting. Let me show you different perspective yeah it's so much material i don't know i don't like these rounded up uh ho hold holders holsters how are they called i don't know keepers oh yeah keepers i don't like them they are too bulky they don't look elegant at all no i don't i like the square ones but anyway interesting look let's take it off Oh, it looks off the hand. Well, off the hand, it looks all right. <laughs> Perhaps my, my wrist is just too skinny at 16.5 centimeters. This is the last single piece strap that I'm going to show you. All other ones going to be two piece straps. This one is one of my favorites in terms of a comfort. Although it doesn't look right with this watch because there is very bulky silver hardware on a black watch yeah doesn't look right and this white stripe i don't know kind of works together with this bezel yeah not sure not sure wouldn't wear this one with this watch i would buy the one with blacked out hardware anyway in terms of offer comfort this is super comfortable strap let me show you yeah one of the best in terms of a comfort i mean look can tighten it up, loosen it up. It's wonderful. Great. Yeah, the blacked out hardware would look like would look nice. Yeah, would look nice. Also, let me show you how it's how to take it off. Like that. Like that. Now let's, I will show you some silicone straps. This is the one that you, a lot of you hate because it is a smartwatch design. But let me tell you one thing. It is extra, extra comfortable, especially when, when the end of the strap goes inside. So there is nothing flopping outside. 
it's very comfy. I use this step very often when I go do some kind of water activities, jacuzzis, saunas, etc. I put my watches on this strap because it's super, super comfortable in doing some water activities. And I also think gray strap looks very nice with black watch somehow. It contrasts very nicely. Let me flip the screen. Yeah, talking non-stop is not my thing. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not some kind of a gaming streamer. I will probably put some music in the background. Very breathable, very good strap throughout the hot summer days. Wonderful strap. Really, if you don't hate this design and you want something comfortable, my gosh, one of the best things ever. Really. Oh, so this very interesting silicone strap with striped out design. It does look nice. It does look nice. If you like silicone straps, it feels okay when it's not too hot when it's not too warm because it's very not breathable definitely not for the summer one <laughs> but i do like this design this striped striped design it looks nice kind of elegant almost This sporty style silicone strap with big holes is also very good for water activities and for hot summer days. I have worn this strap a lot to the point where it's getting shiny <laughs> actually. And it also is very good for one thing, for watches that are a little bit too big, a little bit too long. Because this strap is so fat, so thick and kind of kind of grippy it works very well with watches that need extra stability like this watch is kind of a little bit long on my wrist this strap makes this feel feel uh makes this watch feel a little bit smaller well quite a bit smaller because it's just fat and sits in place very comfy and even though it's not too tight it still feels just wonderful very very comfortable strap but they come very long so i cut this off a little bit and doesn't look that nice but yeah anyway very very comfy strap let me show you how it looks off the wrist as well like that now how it looks on shiny dressy style leather strap um i'm not sure <laughs> kind of looks okay you know black on black but shiny leather strap on this kind of a tool watch, I'm not sure, no, no, not for me, not for me. Doesn't look bad, but kind of looks a little bit out of place in my opinion. Doesn't fit the theme, doesn't fit the style. Yeah, no, I don't know, I don't know, looks a little bit out of place. Doesn't fit the style of the watch in my opinion, but that is just my opinion. Okay, two left, this one and another one not too many right now this is nylon blue strap kind of it looks okay with this watch looks nice definitely doesn't fit this dress style shirt even with you know what you would say blue jeans blue strap i don't know still looks a little bit out of place but the watch itself on the strap looks all right i think in my opinion also blacked out hardware interesting yep looks interesting not the best but still still kind of looks fun now the last one is one of my favorites in terms of a look but one of the worst in terms of a feel because i just can't get the perfect fit it's either too tight or too loose the gap between these holes is just too big but anyway just for the show it does look nice it's rather thick fabric strap two-piece strap as you can see 
it does look very good on many watches but yeah there is a problem the gap between holes is too big nice nice so after changing so many different straps i probably have scratched up the back side of the lugs let's see how this black coating is holding up it's fine it's fine surprisingly fine some of those straps were difficult to put on and take off but no the black coating is doing fine i, I would say yeah surprisingly fine so how is the watch itself you know let's talk a little bit about this watch you know don't forget the price it costs less than a hundred euros it's incredible really what you get for the price is truly incredible so i can't really complain about anything too much and i like these screw down crowns and this middle screw down crown also has a rubber seal like i don't know if you can see that but it does have a rubber seal I wouldn't worry taking this watch into some water activities in jacuzzi and sound etc wouldn't worry at all yeah I believe it's watertight also let's talk about this chronograph function this button starts pauses starts pauses and this button resets and you don't need to stop the chronograph you can just reset it like that also what these rings do this ring let's start the chronograph this is you know going seconds this is minutes as you can see you can't really tell accurately it's like 27 minutes or 28 minutes but for something like you know order a food like something like pizza or sushi and you've been told that you have to wait 30 minutes you can go shopping in the meanwhile and you can roughly see like 28 or 29 minutes have passed so you can go pick up your food for something like that this chronograph is very useful and very helpful and it does look nice these rings look very nice so this is chronograph ring this is just seconds going seconds and this is 24 hours so chronograph is just this seconds hand and this minute hand and don't worry this is sapphire i can't scratch it it's like i'm really pushing now <laughs> actually really pushing no scratches whatsoever it, that's why i love sapphire crystal i can just point with sharp metal objects and i don't care only good things i can tell about sapphire crystal wonderful thing anyway for the money really wonderful watch i do recommend buying this watch but yeah it's it's not bad it's not bad so yeah thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye